We've got some more news regarding the upcoming EA Sports College Football 25 video game that's coming out this summer. Now, as of late, we haven't actually been getting too much info over the past few weeks. It's been a little more quiet than usual. Now, we do know that EA still plans to do the full reveal for this game in May, which is about a month away at this point. We'll be getting a full gameplay trailer. We'll be getting a lot of info on the modes and features for the game. We'll be seeing some of the real players that are going to be in the game and all of that type of stuff. The developers are going to be speaking about it, but leading up to May we still have been getting some leaks we've been getting people speaking out about the game who are working on it so I try to keep you guys up to date every step of the way and we got a little bit of news recently this week from Kirk Herbstreet himself who is one of the main announcers for the game he was on the Pat McAfee show and he did a little bit of speaking and revealed a few things about the game and also further confirmed that it's coming out in July which is kind of a good thing because there are still some people that are a little skeptical if it's really coming out or is it going to be July is it going to be August because we haven't gotten the official release date yet but like I said in May when they do the full reveal we will get that release date then now we're going to play a few clips from the Pat McAfee show in a minute and kind of show what Kirk Herbstreet was talking about but if you are new to this channel and you don't want to miss out on any of the updates for this game every step of the way especially the gameplay videos when they come out make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you never miss any of these videos when I drop them also when the game is released I'm going to be doing some giveaways over on my social channel so make sure to follow over there so you can be ready when the giveaways start when the game launches you're voicing it right we, that's still happening when's that come out do we know has that been announced and everything july i think it comes out in july okay how much have you been working on that is that already done hey in the barn or are we still yeah yeah a lot still banging around on that yeah 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 that's uh something that you know it, it's tedious work but i enjoy it because once the finished product comes out it'll be a lot of fun you know there's a, a variety of voices in the past there's always just the same two or three people call every game now i think there's going to be different different broadcast booths for different types of games that, that you play in so that that'll be kind of a different wrinkle yeah i think it comes out in july but yeah it's it's uh it's it's work that we do usually two or three hours at a time and i i've got uh i've got a bunch still to go you're doing that like every week right even as the game is released yeah yeah like three or four times uh, a week for, for a couple hours now there were a few things that kirk herb street said that were pretty interesting number one he did say multiple announced teams now we do know that there are multiple announcers in the game of course because we know they're going to be doing some college game day stuff we know that they're also going to have a guy that's going to be doing some reporting in the game i believe it's kevin connors who's going to be doing that some like reporting in the middle of the game but we haven't really had a confirmation of multiple announced teams like i said we knew there were going to be different people we knew that there were going to be different segments but actually having different announced teams is not something that i believe they've spoken on yet and i don't know if kirk herb street was misspeaking here and confusing that with the college game day segments and stuff like that but i do think it is possible that we will have multiple announced crews we know the main one is going to be chris fowler and kirk herb street we've heard both of them speak about this and both of them have kind of been on the same page when they speak about the game they said that they're both still recording content for the game as we speak multiple times a week and they've been doing that for years so the amount amount of commentary and content from those guys seems like it's going to be pretty in depth for this game but I also do think multiple announced teams would make sense because that is also been kind of a leak for the upcoming Madden game as well and that's not something that Madden typically does but one of the announcers for Madden did leak that they were going to have multiple announced crews on that game as well so if they're doing that for Madden it would make sense that they would also be doing it with NCAA also probably why Kirk Herbstreet has been working so much lately because they may be using some of his commentary for Madden as well so that is interesting if we're going to get that that just means the presentation is going to be on a whole nother level for this game but hold up really quickly stop right there if you're into sports and you want to try to win some money then you've got to be on underdog fantasy playing their pick them game it's super simple all you got to do is simply pick higher or lower on a wide variety of player stats and if they hit you can win some big money and since it's currently nba season for example you could take a certain player like lebron to get over a certain amount of points or you can take another player to get a certain amount of rebounds or lower than that amount whatever you think is going to happen but the best part about underdog fantasy is they're going to always give you a free play right at sign up to help you win some money if you sign up over the next few days they're going to give you Nikola Jokic to get a single point and if you sign up on Sunday they're going to give you Stephen Curry to get a single point point. and no matter when you sign up there will always be a free play just like this to take advantage of and if that's not good enough at sign up if you use my code ray ray they're going to also double your first deposit up to $100 meaning if you deposit 100 you get an extra free 100 on top of that to play with and you just can't beat that 
And he did also mention that he believes the game is coming out in July, which we all pretty much know is going to be the case, but it hasn't been officially confirmed by EA yet. They're going to drop the date in about a month and give us, you know, the exact date, what part of July it's going to drop in. But NCAA games have always come out in July, so I just don't see any reason they would change that up now. They're going to want to leave August open for Madden, and the only other option would be maybe dropping it in late June, which would be cool for the first game back, but I'm just going to pretty much assume it's going to be July because it's always been that way. Now, there were some leaks that also happened not too long ago, but I didn't make a video about it because they were leaked images, and I didn't really want to show any leaked images on here because I'm pretty sure EA doesn't want those passed around too much, but there were some leaked images that somebody obtained from one of the schools. The school was Mizzou, and you saw some renders of the stadium, which was pretty cool. Now, they were pre-alpha images, which means they're pretty old at this point because pre-alpha is quite a ways away from where the game is going to be at when it's about to release, and if the game is a few months away from releasing, I mean, the game is pretty much like close to a beta stage at this point, so the images were, were kind of old. You could tell that they weren't the most up-to-date images, but it did give us a little bit of an idea of like what the stadiums are going to look like, and one of the more interesting things about the leaked images is you did see a lot of background stuff, which is not something you see a lot in Madden. You saw like a lot of the background, like campus and some of the city skyline at Mizzou, which is pretty cool, so you could tell they were definitely, you know, kind of putting things in depth. You saw like some, some pretty cool things with the crowd and the sideline, but again, in terms of like image quality, you could tell it was pre-alpha, it was pretty old, so it just wasn't the most up-to-date, which I don't think is really worth sharing, but also don't want to share any leaked images about the game, but it's just kind of another thing that, you know, further solidifies this game is definitely being worked on, the game's definitely coming out, and it was cool to kind of see little bits and pieces of what they've been working on. Now, there also are some other rumors about the game, and I do want to just make sure you know these are rumors. We don't know for sure if these are true, but when you hear people talking with inside the industry, especially people that kind of usually know what they're talking about, these are things that could potentially be true. And one of the things that was interesting that we heard about is that the game might not come out on PC. Now, again, this is a rumor. This has not been confirmed. All of the other EA games are on PC, so there is a good chance this could be on PC, but I think if it doesn't come out on PC, the only reason I could think that they wouldn't want to do it is because of modding purposes, because as many of you know, NCAA 14 to this day has a whole new life because of the college football revamped mod. But I think the issue here is because of name, image, and likeness being such a big deal now and players getting paid and compensated to be in the game and those who aren't being paid and compensated because they're opting out, I don't think that EA wants another modded version of this game potentially because not only are people going to be putting these players and these players likenesses into the game that have not signed off on it, which I don't know how that could get them in trouble or not, but I don't think that's something they want to deal with. But also, you know, things like the trophies, for example, the NCAA trophies have pulled out because they wanted to get paid more to be in the game. We talked about this in a previous video where the only actual trophy that's going to be in the game is the Heisman trophy, which is the most important one. But trophies like the Bolitnikov award, for example, all of the different player positions awards, they're going to be in the game, but they're not going to be under their real names because the awards association or whatever they're called, they pulled out of the game because they wanted to get paid more. So obviously EA will have those awards in the game, but they're going to have to name them after different players or after generic players. So that's like another thing with mods that you'd be able to put the real trophies in the game, the real names, you'd be able to put, you know, some of the different things in the game that are not licensed to be in the game. And so if it isn't actually coming out on PC, which again is a rumor, this has not been confirmed. So don't freak out too much yet. But if if it's not going to be on PC, that would probably be the reason why because they probably stand to maybe get in trouble with people modding this game, and they probably just don't want to have to deal with that. Now, if you want to know a little bit more in depth the features that have been confirmed for this game, make sure to check out this important video right here on the screen.